Welcome back. I think that's a shot of Sacramento. Looks like a nice day out there. And you're watching Sacramento and Company. And we are continuing our discussion about all things wedding and love related. Love. We've got the love chef here. What do you want more? <laughs> more. Exactly. We got, we got Todd with the hairdo and now. We've got oh, Todd and now Shelly. Yeah, we should have went to hair makeup like you did this one. I missed that. <laughs> That's Todd, good. the MC of yes. the show, and Shelly's with Oasis. And we're talking about the look right now mm -hmm. for brides. We've got some beautiful brides here and some gorgeous dresses. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here? Okay, Scott? well, Wedding Center USA is providing all our gowns today, and first we're gonna have Erica come out, and Erica, Erica is wearing a regal and elegant strapless gown. We're gonna see Erica here. Displays a soft a sweetheart neckline. She makes her way out. Oh, we're getting ready to, to bring Erica out. Now, these are some of the gowns that you're gonna see at the This fashion is a small show. sample of what we're gonna okay. see. Well, brides are always late, you know that. So. Yeah. They're always running a little bit late. But you looking know? smashing. They always look great. All right. This we is have a Erica. sweetheart gown on the front with a sweetheart as well on the back and the, and the uh, delicate silk organza. Uh, detailed embroidery and beadwork adorn the bodice and the line of the hem. Uh, Swarovski crystals are buttons nice. applied to the entire length of the chapel train. That's beautiful. Okay, we've got another bride coming yes. up now. How much do wedding dresses like this cost? Well, at Wedding Center USA, the dresses, like I mentioned before, are measured to suit. They run up uh, under $899 for the bride, which the typical average wedding gown is $1,400. So it's a little bit better savings. And then, of course, the gown is already made to fit. You're saving on the alterations with these gowns. That's beautiful, too. Now, this is Bertha. Yeah, she's wearing a beautiful and timeless wedding dress. The uh, bodice is a uh, mermaid style with a floral trumpet skirt. And it also has the uh, Swarovski crystals and is embroidered with uh, silver threading. Okay, and neither of these brides have um, veils on, but they have beautiful hairdos. Did you do their hair this morning, Shelly? Yes, we did. My, myself and my team, we did the hair uh, and the makeup on these brides. What's the trend in the way of hair and makeup for brides? The trend now is more natural, organic colors. Very pretty. I love that low, yeah, low updo. Yeah, it's very nice. Can, can we see the back of your hair? It's so pretty. Oh, I think we lost it. That's gorgeous. How far in advance do you need to start thinking about your hairstyle? Well, you know, it depends. Each bride is their own individual person. Some of them, they're planning their wedding a year or two ahead of time, and then others, you know, they'll just kind of wait till the last minute. And we, we have a package that we do with our brides. It's two sessions where they'll come in and we'll do some cons consultation and You're getting a couple redo dry makeup run. ideas. Absolutely, yes. Hair and makeup for Absolutely. you in case their style nice. you say doesn't work. That's right. Here's a pretty updo, too. Yeah, and a beautiful Elena. dress. Oh, love it. Elena is wearing a uh, newer trend in wedding gowns that we're starting to see for 2008. While strapless, it's still a big favorite for brides. Sleeveless in various lengths are uh, making a fashion statement now. This dress embodies romance and lace, perfect for an outdoor garden wedding for the summer. Nice. So do the grooms have much um, say or opinion when it comes to wedding dresses? Well, you know, we can't see it. So we well, never have true. an opportunity to know what it looks like until it's over. Are they oh, interested? Well, you know, I got married. I wanted to see what my bride's uh, gown oh, right. looked like. You Did know? you? But Did you uh, want to approve it? Or I, you want, just I just curious. wanted to see. Curious. <laughs> curious. Yeah. You know, so we never really get but to see. at least see. you know the budget number. You just said Yeah, you know, that's, thank God I have sons. I let the dad <laughs> yeah. take care of it and not have to worry about it. It's good. <laughs> All right, our next bride. This is gorgeous. I love this. Yeah, this is Lauren. and She's wearing a wedding dress, which combines traditional elements along with a mermaid cut skirt so it is pretty. a uh, semi chapel train and then you need to notice the scalloped hand lace and delicate floral lace throughout the dress making it a timeless creation wow there's a lot of intricate detail on this and i think one of the other dresses was similar to that is there anything that's really in right now as far as detail is that kind of what you're seeing a lot of or is it really you, just you know as a disc jockey you wouldn't think that uh, we have a lot to do with that kind of thing but w because we're there planning with them the entire right. day and handling things we actually do so we have seen brides wearing more of a casual but elegant dress something that they can have a little more fun and dance and enjoy their party uh, mm -hmm. rather than something that restricts them so it's okay. still elegant strapless is very popular and we're seeing the brides wear their hair down a lot more now that's pretty. Oh, uh, do they do a secondary dress, a change? Uh, you know, th that through. does happen. That does happen. The bride will go, you know, kind of like we used to see, uh, uh, the trend was like in the 50s where the bride would change into something right. that would be more of a party. We're starting back. to see that a little bit yeah. more now. And here's a look at all wow. of them. One of them is a white, white dress, and the other three are kind of the cream. Is there anything 
Um, any standard yeah. right now? There really, there's really not a standard. It just kind of depends on the bride. Um, a lot of times what your flowers are doing and what your uh, linens might be, a lot of times brides will look at that as, a, as a something to add to the whiteness or the ivory of the dress. Beautiful. Now, Shelly, we talked in the last segment about what brides need to come to the show with in the way of, you know, being prepared with a budget. Is there anything they need to be prepared with when it comes to hair and makeup? Do you like when they tear pictures out of magazines and have an idea of what they want? Or do you kind of help them create that based on the look of their dress? Absolutely. We love them to bring pictures, thoughts, ideas. But then, as we're the professionals, we'll try and help them to decide on what works best for their hair and their skin type and and all of the, the things that matter within and the their. day of you're there and obviously doing all the touch up and stuff if the staff. bride would like that yeah. yes but typically they come into the salon the morning of their uh, wedding and then we will make them beautiful and then they're off but if they'd like us to come back with them we are certainly willing to do that That's okay great. and we've got all the details again about the show too, yeah. i know and these girls are gorgeous they're all seven foot tall i mean i, <laughs> I saw you taking a picture with all <laughs> <of> them, <right? laughs> that's gonna well, go on the beautiful. poster the board gorgeous. there's all the information about the bridal show february 17th we've got that on our website as well thank Very you good. so much thank you for having us here. thank you thank brides you. great job you look beautiful and special thanks, of course, to A Moment in Time for sponsoring this segment of our show. Well, still ahead, 